This is probably India's fastest front wheel drive car. It's an Octavia VRS 230 running a stock block and making 530 horsepower. Apart from that, it weighs around 1400 kilograms. It has a 7 speed DSG, uh, a DQ250 to be exact. It has new speed rims, which saves a little bit of uh, running inertia and it has some sticky PS4 rubber. But this thing is only front wheel drive. It'll be interesting to see how this thing does on the drag strip. Now imagine that same setup on a smaller body with four-wheel drive and more power. This is a Stage 3 Audi TT with the same turbo, same setup, but it's in a smaller body in the same engine and it's got much more power. Okay, maybe much more power was a bit of an exaggeration, but yes, the TT does make probably 10, 20 horsepower more. Probably it is down to the tune why it is making more power, but the biggest advantage of the TT over the VRS is the Haldex all-wheel drive system. But if you've seen the other videos, you will remember that the launch control wasn't fully dialed in, so the launch isn't going to be as aggressive as Harmonix would have liked. But overall, the TT has a bigger advantage. Yes, you can argue that the VRS must be having less drivetrain loss, but the TT with its 1020 extra BHP and all-wheel drive will definitely have the upper hand. Hey guys, today I want to recommend my friend's website called OneWin where you can earn money steadily and my favorite game on the website is the Lucky Jet game where your main task is to collect money before the pirate flies away. Now I have made a deposit of 3000 rupees in my account and I'm going to show you how to do it. After you have registered your account on OneWin, you basically have to replenish it. So press on the deposit button and select the Paytm method. After that, you can go down to the Lucky Jet game which is in the OneWin game section. I will place two bets and wait for good odds. To earn money, I must have time to raise and earn money. Wow, <laughs> 1.55 times, I will take 2325 rupees and let's keep playing. Wow guys, 2.13 times and I won 3195 rupees. Now I will do the withdrawal of my funds. You must log into your account and click withdrawal after which you select the method which is most convenient for you and indicate the amount. That's it now, I'll just have to wait for my money. I will leave the link for this game down in the description below and the guys from OneWin have been very generous and will give our subscribers an exclusive offer which is 25,000 rupees for your first deposit when you play the Lucky Jet game and you can use our promo code DRIVERS500 to redeem this offer. The registration, the link and everything is down in the description below or in a pinned comment. Oh my god, the money has already been deposited in my account, now I can completely rest. This is a stage 2 BMW M340i. It has a CSF charge cooler, an MST intake and an MST decat downpipe. This thing now produces 480 horsepower, 650 to 700 newton meters of torque. It has an X-Drive all-wheel drive system, launch control and it also has an 8-speed torque converter gearbox. Now, I am pretty sure you have seen the video where we put this Stage 2 M340i against a brand new Audi RS5. If you haven't, what are you doing? Go watch the video now. Harmonix is expecting the 340i to accelerate from 0 to 100 km an hour in under 4 seconds. Same is with the TT. The VRS is a tough cookie to launch off of the line. With its EQT turbo producing massive amounts of boost and only a front wheel drive setup, it gets tons of wheel spin off of the line. So until it gets grip, it is probably too late. Or is it? Well, Harmonix is expecting the VRS to go from 0 to 100 km an hour in around 5 seconds. And well, we will have to see if the VRS can pull some magic out of its sleeve. And as a wildcard entry, how does BMW's locally produced 340i fare against a supercar killing Audi TT? Only one way to find out.
Surprise, surprise, the car with the most amount of power won the race. But there is a more interesting story to be told in this race. The M340i water car, even with 70-ish horsepower less than the TT, the M340i gave the TT a good run for its money. The M340i got a wicked launch off of the line. And as expected, the TT got a subpar launch and the VRS was struggling massively to put down the power. With its brilliant launch and the biggest engine in this particular race, the M340i had the legs to hold a lead over the TT, but not for long. Once the TT started getting into its rhythm, it quickly snatched the lead back from the M340i. And at the end, there was only a couple of car lengths between the two. Whereas the VRS, well, by the time it stopped wheel spinning, it was already too late, but what you can see is that once the VRS hooked up, it was level pegging with the all-wheel drive cars. Here are the performance charts from all of the cars. Yup, the Audi and the VRS are in a different league when it comes to 100 to 200 km per hour, but the M340i still holds its own. But in the end, blue-blooded horsepower, all-wheel drive and trick tuning, the TT has come out victorious. A big thank you to Harmonix for letting us film this series. It has been an absolute privilege to be working with you guys. Technically, this is the last episode of Half Mile Shootouts, but best believe we will be doing more of these drag races in the future. So to not miss out any sort of content, subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one.